Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> that was not fair. <laughs> I was just fixing my hijab and you jumped, yeah, jumped right in there, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> as long as my hijab is stays. Welcome to Muslim Farmville. Oh yeah. I'm welcome. <laughs> where you can find it. Welcome to everybody there too. Where you can find it. spirituality, sustainable and slow living lifestyle. Nice. So, let's see, today we're going to be, what, uh, talking about, we have the, the Eid al-Adha is coming up. Excuse me. <laughs> and we'll get down. This video is going to be about get to know us a little. Okay. And the same time, we have Eid al-Adha coming. As a gift, mm -hmm. we want to give back to you guys. You guys yeah. have been watching our videos and leaving these amazing, beautiful comments. We will do seven days straight. Oh, yeah. So, happy Thanks. Saturday. Starting <laughs> this Saturday until Eid, we will be doing... Till Eid al Adha. So, what is that? <laughs> what is Eid al Adha? It's our... Yeah. As Muslims, we celebrate yeah. two big, huge things. And they celebrations, are... Celebrations, yeah. Yeah. And we already had our first Eid right after Ramadan. Yep. Now it's this is the Eid second. Eid al Yes. Uh -huh. Go right ahead, please. <laughs> and the Eid al Adha is what? Go ahead, please. In a few days. It's in please. a few days, but it it, um, it correlates with uh, Hajj, right? And Hajj is the pilgrimage that we make once in a lifetime, if possible, to the Kaaba. Um, and the Kaaba is a, I mean, if, if people don't know, but it's uh, in uh, Arabia, but it's, it's actually like referred to in the Bible as well. And, uh, or even um, like Old Testament stuff, because it's there from the time of Abraham, um, uh, Ibrahim, Ali Salam. So uh, basically the Kaaba is a building that was built um, uh, with with Ibrahim and uh, his oldest son, and uh, it it's uh, basically the house of a uh, first house of worship, you know. Um, so, so that's the direction of which we pray towards, uh, because we're directed to uh, through the in the Quran. It used to be that Muslims would pray towards Jerusalem, and then. In the Quran, Allah revealed that uh, we should turn towards the sacred house. Uh, so that's the Kaaba. So basically, everybody goes to the Kaaba, and then um, uh, and then while there, they do the things that Ibrahim did while he was there. They they go around the Kaaba seven times. Uh, there's a a couple of mountains nearby, and they run between those mountains, and that actually is connected to Hajjir, Ibrahim's um, second wife, who had. Uh, Ismail, their first ch child, um, and uh, she was in that valley and running between those mountains herself, and then Safa, finally, Safa and, Marwa. Safa and Marwa are the two mountains, and then finally, um, uh, actually, Ismail, as, a, as an infant, was in be was she had left him in between there somewhere, and he was like crying and kicking his feet, and then a zumzum well, a well of water came up out of there so it's it's like a miracle because actually that same well of water is still running today mm. and millions and millions of people have come since then you know to uh, uh, for for at that time it was just the two of them and her supplication or the Abraham's right. uh, uh, Abraham's supplication was that a nation of people would come around Hajar and Ismail and uh, certainly from then till now nations and nations and nations of people have have um, uh, come to that place uh, and have done these these rites of uh, of Hajj, and so. it's uh, Hajj season right now. And the minute it's done, then we have Eid celebration. Yeah. So then we will do seven days video videos that what we are doing for our home that are benefit. A lot of you have asked the Portuguese bread that I made for uh -huh. my nephew. That video is already made for you guys. It will come soon. Uh -huh. And uh, we respect that you guys, you ask things and we respect you. 
and we want to make those videos as much as we can to answer your questions and stuff so we have the bread coming we have homemade butter coming we want to help out and bring the time of the Rasul Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's time things that they made for our home and their families those things are forgotten so we want to bring it back we will share how we dry our herbs few things that we are doing now we will share it with you bringing the lambs and so on that so there's a lot to look forward so that's the gift from us <laughs> to you guys one question I know they will ask have we been to Hajj I haven't been to Hajj no. I haven't been to Saudi I haven't been to Umrah yeah. yet I made the Umrah um, I think it was either 1999 or 2000 yeah Sulaima was a baby then when you went yeah. so it's about 20 years ago when you yeah, made it About 2000 so yeah uh, 23 years ago well that's when Umrah so Umrah is like a what's called a minor Hajj like you go in a time that's off season so the season of Hajj is actually in the month of Hajj it's the beginning of the month of Hajj um, it's, it's in the first 10 days but uh, the the Umrah is any other time of the year and I, I Yasmin actually sent me as a gift one time and uh, so I had the opportunity to see the layout of the land to you know make tawaf and do uh, actually that was a uh, one of the things I made Tawaf is go around the Kaaba like that and then go between the two mountains. And then I actually had my hair all uh, shaved off at that time, completely. <laughs> and uh, yes. so we still have some pictures of that. Right. And I think some people might ask, why do you have a long hair? <laughs> the hunting season, him and the boys always grow their hair. So when it comes to November hunting season, December hunting season, he will have a full beard long hair it keeps them warm and so now you have been talking about soon I'm gonna cut my hair Zach already cut his hair yeah Sam said he's keeping all his curls yeah. some of the sisters have seen Sam grow uh -huh. <laughs> um Salma you know she commented she said Sam's hair is growing and it reminds me the curls my son she said <laughs> so Sam is keeping his curls he's only teens and he's sane already it's gonna bring you know the lady, the lady, the <laughs> oh, right man. lady. <laughs> we don't need that right now. I right know, now. but <laughs> I go, Sam. When are you gonna cut it? And he's like, Oh no, mom, I'm keeping it. And I'm saying, It's yeah. gonna be hot. You got a yeah. African style here. Yeah. It's gonna That's be hot. It's part of youth. <laughs> it, it really is. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, those who are new, welcome. We will be sharing, like I mentioned, seven videos. Yeah. or eat gift from us to you guys and we appreciate all your beautiful comments and and uh, if you are new here we have a small farm homestead and we like to share natural way of living inshallah mm -hmm. so get to know us was that this is Saleh, Saleh yeah. I am Yasmin I'm yeah. originally from East Africa Somalia I'm originally from Southwest Wisconsin so we're both <laughs> here Midwest born and raised from the mud of the Mississippi <laughs> okay what he said yeah. we're both here in the US yeah and we're married almost 30 years we're married this year 29, actually 29 years 30 we, yeah we just had a couple of months ago yeah. 29 years we met on our teen time we were teenagers when we yeah. met we have how many children well we we have six children but you've gone through seven births so. we had seven babies we lost yeah. the one who's waiting for us and we have alhamdulillah mashallah tabarakallah say mashallah we have mashallah. three girls yeah. and three, three boys, boys. Yeah. and what else they can get to know us a lot of a lot and, of you uh, guys know us already and the animals all the animals yeah <laughs> the lambs the dogs the chickens, chickens the, the ducks, ducks the and cat, the new cat oh new yeah now. <laughs> the cat and the fishes and the snake passed away <laughs> oh no yep That's the sad. turtle the birds, the birds. <laughs> so we have a little homestead oh, going on yeah That's a lot. what else can they get to know us <laughs> what else can they get to know us yeah what do we do but professionally yeah um hijama and nutritional health coaching and yeah. uh, uh herbal medicine, medicine. 
my husband, natural medicine basically my husband does hijama for the men and I do hijama for the ladies so we have a wellness center here in town and we do nutrition health coaching therapy talk we do a lot of that mm. that's how we uh, feed our family what else mm. can you think of uh, what else uh, do I mean what else can they get the, to know us yeah the, 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 the lifestyle is a slow living lifestyle so we uh just, he's working on it yeah it's taken a while for me to slow down <laughs> but uh just taking care of the animals and doing gardening and um, tabbing you know, the trees yes, for maple syrup yes, honey Mean bees. is an expert at uh, like making recipes from I mean, sometimes she dreams them up <laughs> dreams about food right yeah, he wakes up wait a second I got a good recipe we both have been into practicing uh, low carb. So you, whenever you see our videos, you might see us having something a little bit different, mm -hmm. different bread, but we still cook for well, our family. Well, that's our current journey, but I mean, we've done... So we, many we've different. A lot of different... Veganism, uh, raw eating, We, but yeah. this journey right now, we do low carb, but our our children are not. Even though when I make those waffles from the eggs mm -hmm. and cheese, they eat them. Oh yeah, they like well, them. if I make dessert of a, like a keto lifestyle, I mean keto desserts yeah. full of protein, they eat it. One of them yeah. said to me recently, <laughs> "Mom, when you make keto food, just make extra. We will eat it." And I'm like, <laughs> "Okay." So I think that's it to uh, get to know us a little bit. That's really who we are. We are very, very simple people. Mm. And we eat simple and we like to live nat the natural way and simplicity. That's what we like. So if you yeah. are new, welcome and share the videos. This is Muslim Farmville's husband and a wife. <laughs> and we will see you guys the next seven days. Just know that our Eid video will be the day after Eid. Oh, yeah. Because we have to video it, and then it will be next day. Yeah. Right? But still, on Eid day, you will get a video about yeah. something. I don't know. <laughs> we have it? videos lined up for you guys. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Yeah, so... It should be fun. Yeah, fun. <laughs> it's going to be fun being with you. Yeah. Yes. Fun being with you. Okay. Uh, every day. <laughs> Alhamdulillah wa shukrillah. Yeah, mashallah to barakallah. Someone has been waiting this last question. We're going to end it. Okay. Where did we met? We, we met. How, how did we met where? Like, how did you guys meet? Oh, yeah. Was it arranged marriage? No, it wasn't. Well, our marriage wasn't arranged. It was arranged marriage <laughs> by Allah. Yeah, by Allah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> How did we met? They're asking that. I think it's specific. Did, did we meet through friends? Did we meet through... I think uh, that's the question. Like, How yeah. did we meet? Well, we were in the same apartment building. We lived there, yeah, the and, same and, building. And uh, Yasmin was getting home. She was living with her sister. And, and uh, she was just getting home and unloading some groceries. And I noticed her. And I was like, wow. That is somebody. The exotic African woman. <laughs> that is somebody I want to get to know. So, because uh, I, I could see that she was unloading groceries, so I knew she must be living in the same apartment place somewhere. So one night I was leaving the apartment, and uh, Yasmin was getting home from work. So I was like, wow, I got to take it. This is my chance, you know. And uh, so I ran up to the elevator and I put my foot in the elevator door and I was like, hey, how you doing? So we met in an elevator. That's it. That's the short answer. Yep, we met <laughs> in an elevator. <laughs> and then uh, I just basically introduced myself and tried to get to know her and she was being all shy. and. I was saying, can I come, can I come to your apartment? She said, no. I don't have boys in my apartment. I said, that's fine. I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We're ending the video. He's, he's unleashing. Unleashing. It's a big story. <laughs> yeah, and we have to probably do a, another video about that. But we did met in the same apartment building that we lived. Yep. So that's how we met. And that's where the story began. Yep. 30 years later, yep. here we are. I, I knew you were the one. Oh, right that's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, I...
didn't know, I mean, how things are going to go or what. <laughs> but it's it's a blessing from Allah. Yeah. Yeah. When, when we met, I just thought it was somebody, you know, you just meet and mm -hmm. really, you know, you just don't know. And also, I want to put out there, not to scare you or anything, Somalis, in my language, the Somalis who watch me will say, they have heard this. It's like, there is kaga wa ilan lodersan, and I'm not sure exactly how to say there is kaga wa ilan lodersan, something like that. It means basically you don't know who's watching uh -huh. your neighbors. You don't know who's watching. You know, like uh -huh. so you don't know outside who's really watching. So pay attention to your surroundings. <laughs> yeah. This guy popped up in the elevator, and I'm going, oh my god. Okay, are you going upstairs? <laughs> and he's like, no, I want to be your friend. I'm like, huh? <laughs> Can I come over and see you in your apartment? I'm like, boys are not allowed in my apartment. Uh, my sister, and he says that. <laughs> <laughs> what is the color? You know, as Somalis. But anyway, um, we will yeah. end the video here. Yeah. Anything else they you can think of, they get to know us. I'm We're really simple. Yeah. Easy people. Yeah. We're just trying to kind of promote that kind of simple living lifestyle so yeah just that's a natural healthy living and health that does not have to be about just the food or no. exercise and that's it's the circle it's of life spirituality and stuff like that too so yeah. i mean it's you know doing the gardening and uh, even feeding the, the animals and stuff like that is actually for us um a part of uh you know connecting with uh, with God's creation and stuff like that so it teaches you patience it teaches you respect it teaches you love you know animals mm -hmm. also have a short living and they get hurt and they die and they get sick and it just teaches you yeah yeah someone recently commented about um, I think it was the video I did about our nephew was coming and they said something about how brave are you, Yasmin, about not wearing makeup and being fancy and everything. Uh. And <laughs> honestly, there are times that I will uh, wear a little makeup, I would say. Like a little stuff here. I don't wear stuff for my skin so much. I might put a little bit of lipstick, lipstick. on, a little bit fix maybe my eyebrows and stuff, but I never was a makeup person, and some. That's one of the things I like about her, actually. <laughs> and, and I always tell her she's so beautiful, just the way she is. So. Thank you, because he's my husband. He has to say that. Nah, it's not. They just have to say that. Well, sure. I grew up in Somalia, across the street. My neighbors, they literally raised us this strength and this confidence of, you are beautiful. Mm. And that's how I grew up. So I believe that each one of us are beautiful. And also, a lot of you know, I do my best to protect my hormones. Mm. That's why I don't wear makeups and heavy things. Yeah. It, I'm very sensitive with my hormones, so I watch yeah. out. That's one of the things I think people don't really take into consideration is that there are side effects. Right. With putting stuff on your skin and things like that. There's, there, can, yeah. there can be side effects that you don't really... You know take into consideration sometimes yeah so I grew up that way and then I have a couple of your sisters always anytime they see me they mention my skin color mm -hmm. all the time they're like I wish we had your beautiful skin yeah. so I had role models like that that I am not gonna be heavy layered makeup it doesn't work for me personally if it works for you go right ahead but for me it doesn't and i don't do that so and i appreciate that for me that person commenting and saying for me to come like that because that's who i am this is what i look like i remember at, you know? at one point she was experimenting with uh, like natural makeup yeah and like a beat i would beats, put my lips beats yeah beat powder and stuff like that yeah the girl my <laughs> girls so do cute. that too Actually, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fatoon still does that. Fatoon does that. Yeah, they yeah. put a, you know, they beat do beat powder and stuff like that. Yeah, when the girls are into it, I say, go ahead, experiment, you know, yeah. those things. But I appreciate that. But I really work hard at it. What I eat, what I put in my skin, and not to um, 
kind of poison my body because it's it's harmful for me. I've seen a lot of women who have so many makeups and it doesn't affect them. And I always say, Alhamdulillah, may Allah protect them. But for me, things like that, smells, I'm sensitive. Mm -hmm. Certain products, I'm sensitive. So olive oil, avocado oil, every day, you guys see in my videos, I'm all greased up avocado oil. Mm -hmm. Butter ghee, I put it in my skin. So I'm just, I, I'm trying, doing my best to be really naturalist. So... And I grew up with those two different, and uh, my Somalian neighborhood and my uh, his two sisters who always encouraged my skin and my beauty. So having growing up like that, then maybe that's where my a little bit of confidence comes from. And I'm not saying I have this confidence and this and that. No, it's just that I feel I'm grateful for what I have and that Allah gave me the way I look that I don't want to change it. I have to be grateful because there are people who don't have it. So. Alhamdulillah, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And this beauty. <laughs> Allah created. When I saw you, I said. I don't wear makeup either, so. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> the, way, the way your life is, I can't even imagine you standing there and going, I gotta yeah. put a makeup on. Yeah. Subhanallah. So I think that's it, huh? Yeah, that's, uh, I think, a good beginning, huh? Yeah, get to know us. It was just simple and chatting. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you Sunday's video. Today's okay. Saturday that this video will come on. And have a beautiful, blessed day, yep. inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings be upon you. And Eid Mubarak, Eid al Adha, yeah. Eid Mubarak, you all. <laughs> Isn't Allah. that exciting? Yeah, it's coming. And I'm so sad. I'm probably going to be missing Eid prayer. <laughs> you know that like Ramadan the first day I had my cycle and now I have my cycle so I'm going like oh I hope I don't miss eat prayer yeah, add me in your du'as so I'm <laughs> done with that and I can pray the ladies yeah. understand so and the non-muslims <laughs> need some to of, know some of the guys would be like TMI <laughs> it's not really TMI it's part of it's part of the life as women we give birth we get our yeah. cycle and our cycle yeah. when we get we don't we will I will be doing dhikris and talking yeah. to Allah and do supplications but we don't actually do the Allah Akbar God is great and yeah. start the prayer it's you guys have the, seen me pray one of the mercies yeah I won't be able to pray I'm thinking but you'll never know it's new so I'm hoping <laughs> Allah make it short short <laughs> we'll cycle we'll and then we'll I see. can pray with the community yeah. inshallah so, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.